If a strange dancing woman appears outside your window late at night, it's best to be on high alert. The main guy of this story is named Tony. He was born in 1988 and is 35 years old this year. He's had a very bumpy life, and he's seen this strange dancing woman more than once throughout his life. What's even more unsettling is that it seems like he's the only one who can see her, and every time she appears, Tony experiences something bad. There are three times in particular that stick out in Tony's mind. The first was when he was 10 years old. His father had epilepsy and suffered a seizure while building a house. He fell headfirst from the roof and passed away in the hospital. It was then, at the hospital, that Tony saw the woman in the long dress and head covering, pacing outside the operating room. Her behavior was strange, but everyone else seemed to ignore her. At the time, Tony was only worried about his father's safety, so he didn't pay too much attention to the strange woman. Her outfit was also something that was common in their area, so it wasn't particularly noteworthy. But later, at his father's funeral, the woman appeared again. Tony was kneeling to his father's portrait when the woman appeared next to it, smiling at him. Her expression seemed stiff and her smile was shallow, which confused Tony. Everyone else at the funeral was crying and mourning, but this woman was smiling. So Tony asked his mother, who was sobbing beside him, who the woman next to his father's portrait was. His mother was confused because there was nobody there. It was also during the funeral, so nobody would have gone there. Sure enough, when Tony looked back at the portrait, the strange woman had disappeared. The second time that Tony encountered the strange woman was when he was 13 years old. His mother had possibly become mentally unstable due to excessive longing for his father and often spoke to the air. She lost her appetite and soon fell ill, unable to get out of bed. One day, when Tony returned home from school, he once again saw the woman with a veil sitting by his mother's bedside. The woman stared intently at his mother, but this time, tears streamed down her face. Tony's mother, who seemed to have regained her sanity, smiled at him and asked him to go fetch some sweet water. However, when Tony returned with the water, he found that his mother had passed away, and the strange woman with the veil had disappeared without a trace. Tony was curious and afraid of this strange woman from that day forward, and he also held a grudge against her because she inexplicably appeared and disappeared before his parents passed away, leaving him an orphan. After his mother's death, Tony's life became even harder. His uncle, who was actually quite kind, took in Tony and his two siblings. Tony was sensible and dropped out of school, helping his uncle herd sheep while taking care of his sister. He only asked that his younger brother be able to continue his studies. Although the national policy supported the education of all three siblings, Tony's aunt treated him differently from her own children and even physically abused him. So when Tony turned 16, he went to work in Yurumki, earning money to support his sister's education. He worked at various places including gas repair factories and restaurants but construction sites provided the highest income and were where he spent the most time. Tony had an aunt who began to care about him and was afraid that he would inherit his father's epilepsy, which had started when his father was in his teens or twenties. She worried that if Tony had a seizure at the construction site, it would be dangerous. So she took him under her wing and taught him how to do business in the clothing industry in Yurunki. It was during this time that Tony saw the strange woman with the veil for the third time. On January 2, 2008, Tony was still not yet 20 years old. During the day, he worked as an apprentice in his aunt's clothing store to help out. Because he didn't want to be a burden to his aunt, he would sleep in the store at night. That evening, just after 8 o'clock when it was just getting dark, Tony was lying down getting ready to read before going to sleep when he saw a woman outside dancing in a long dress with a veil over her head. Tony immediately recognized her as the strange woman who had appeared before. 
He had only one thought in his mind, to catch this woman and ask her why she was always present when his parents passed away, and who she really was. But as soon as Tony opened the door of the store and went out, the strange woman had already gone far away. Tony followed closely behind her, but no matter how fast he walked, he couldn't catch up to her. Suddenly, he felt a headache and his body began to tingle and convulse. He lost consciousness, and when he woke up, he found himself in the hospital. The doctor told him he had suffered an epileptic seizure. At the same time, Tony received shocking news. The building where his aunt's clothing store was located had caught fire just after he had left. The fire lasted for 68 hours. This incident left Tony feeling very scared. If he had suffered an epileptic seizure inside the store, the consequences would have been unthinkable. Tony also had a vague feeling that the strange woman might not have had any malicious intent and that she might even be related to his epilepsy. He thought that his illness might have caused him to hallucinate. From that day on, Tony never mentioned the strange woman to anyone. After that incident, the strange woman never appeared again. After 14 years, in 2022, Tony was already married with a 10-year-old daughter. Misfortune once again befell Tony's troubled fate. His 33-year-old wife, Lisa, suddenly discovered a malignant tumor. In just a few months, she became haggard and lost all her hair. The loyal and devoted Tony cried by her side every day, but Lisa was more concerned about her husband. She said that he had suffered from the early death of his parents and had experienced many hardships. She couldn't believe that just a few years after they had started a happy family, she had to leave him and could no longer take care of him in his remaining years. After saying this, the three of them hugged each other and cried. On the day Lisa passed away, she might have sensed that she was not going to make it. She made a special request for Tony and their daughter to wait outside the hospital room, saying she wanted to surprise them. After a while, when the nurse came out and said it was okay, Tony entered the room to see his wife dressed in ethnic clothing, a long dress and a veil, dancing lightly under the nurse's support. Lisa's last words were that if she could go back in time, she would definitely go back to see Tony at hard times. But she would not go to the future because he should be happier then. At that moment, Tony wept uncontrollably. He saw the gentle smile on his wife's face and suddenly thought of the woman with a bitter smile at his father's funeral when he was 10 years old, the smiling mother who passed away when he was 13, and the woman dancing in front of the window before the fire broke out when he was 19. They were all the same person who had only wanted to comfort him and save him. He realized that she had said I love you decades ago. My heart was here to stay. You were dancing like an angel, like the stars above the city sky. What if this could be forever, just you and I? stars above the city sky what if this could be forever just you 